Hello, my name is Samuel Flint, and today I am going to be discussing the use of time-based data in the mining software repositories field and investigating time-based data errors in the Git software version control system. This work was done with Jigyasa Chowan and our advisor, Dr. Robert Dyer. In mining software repositories, lots of data contains a time-based component. This includes things like code changes, issue reports, log files, and more. However, as with most data, time-based data is dirty. With this in mind, we ask the following questions. How many MSR papers rely on time-based data? What kinds of software data include time? What filtering or cleaning techniques are used for time-based data? And then, given the results from these questions, we ask if, time -based, if bad time-based Git data is common in open source Git repositories. We began by digging into the technical and data showcase papers of the Mining Software Repositories Conference from the years 2004 to 2020. There were a total of 690 papers to analyze. We then selected papers using a keyword search on time-related keywords such as minute, hour, and second. Our keyword search matched 282 papers initially. After manual inspection, we removed 43 because while keywords matched, they were not utilizing time-based data. In the end, we retained 239 papers, or 35% of the original corpus. We read each paper, noting the kinds of time-based data used, sources of the data, and any methods used for filtering and cleaning data. Looking at the kinds of data used, we found that 64% of papers studied used version control system data, like commits, commit author, commit message, commit date, and so forth. 31% used issues and bug reports. 17% used forge metadata, like stars, forks, repository creation date, and 7% used pull requests. Studies used a number of data sources, but the 10 most common are shown here. In particular, GitHub has the most common with GHTorrent, a curated data set also used frequently. Other common data sources were well-known open source projects, as well as a number of proprietary data sources. Most studies did not describe using any sort of filtering or cleaning technique. Other studies selected data from within a particular time window or described this ex and described this explicitly, while others described only a cutoff date. Seven studies used a custom condition, doing things like selecting commits related to a particular issue or ensuring that commits are correctly ordered. A handful of studies coalesced change sets, that is, they took all changes made by a given developer in a given three-minute window and considered them as a single change set. A few studies also corrected date formats, ensuring that all dates under study were in the same time zone and formats so that analysis may be easily carried out. In particular, the lack of described method is a cause for concern, as it reduces the replicability of a study. Because version control data is the most studied and GitHub is the most common data source, we investigated what some time-based problems would look like and how frequently those occur. We considered three kinds of time problems in particular. Commits with dates that were very old, before November 19th, 1990, the initial release of CVS. Commits with dates that were in the future, after the collection date of the data set we used, and commits that have dates older than at least one of their parents. We used BOA's 2019 GitHub large data set to look for bad data. In particular, we found over 26,000 commits with younger parents from over 4,000 projects. We also found over 4,000 suspiciously old commits in 82 projects and 11 future commits in three projects. Because of the problems observed, we propose several methods to mitigate problems with bad time data. The first is to filter by project. If the research community curates a list of projects which have significant problems with time data, those on the list could simply be avoided. The second, filtering by date, would involve leaving out history older than 2014. This keeps seven years of history to mine, but removes a very large number of faulty commits. Finally, we suggest simply removing projects modified by the Git SVN tool as they tend to have bad dates. There are many more details in our paper. Thank you.